Hey guys, Samantha here. Welcome back to another episode of Sims 4 Parenthood. And man, I am so tired of this error log. I thought I had cleared it earlier. Um, I've looked on MC Command Mod uh, website, Deadpool, and he suggested oh, deleting the thumbnail oh, cache or something like that in order to get that cleared. But apparently it didn't work. So this is like my third time restarting the game, trying to figure out how to get rid of this error log. But anyway, so excuse it if it's still over here. It feels like sometimes it works on some of the files and sometimes not. So I don't know what's going on with it. But <laughs> Ashley's over here just uh, flipping it and snipping it and tripping it. I don't know. I'm just making up stuff. But anyway, long story short, she's over here making breakfast for her family because today is Wednesday and these children got to get up and go to school. I'm going to check really quickly before it looks like all of them are pretty well rested. So let's just go on and get everybody up, have them come grab a serving. Uh, come on. And I'm going to show you guys their rooms and everything. I gave their rooms like a little bit of a makeover. I took, um, I think it was Cheryl's advice. Let me double check real quick. Uh, I thought I had it up on my screen. Apparently I do not. But um, I didn't sell the furniture. I kept it just in case because we know she's pregnant and I have no idea what she's going to have and who she's going to have and why is she over here playing with dough. <laughs> but anyway, she has suggested keeping the furniture just in case. And I agree because we have no idea. I'm trying to find the comment. Yeah, I would keep the <laughs> We have no idea, y'all. I didn't cheat. I didn't check and see. I don't know if she's having a boy or girl, anything, multiples, nothing like that. But she does have a track record of having multiples because she had triplets this last time. So, um, and I think Patricia, yeah, that had suggested that we either start painting or grow some blackberries. So I thought that that was a good idea. I actually, a while back, posted, put some planners out here. Uh, for that very reason, I was thinking that she could start a little garden and maybe write a book about it. So I'm going to have her kind of um, get started with that this morning so we could get that together. But um, let's see here. Uh, order. Let's see. Let's order some seeds. Um, let's do some fruits. Let's do some fruits and a starter vegetable. And there we go. And then in the meanwhile, I'm going to let these kids start getting their breakfasts and stuff together. Um, but I did give them a larger table because hello, they have a bigger a bigger family now. And then this is one of the rooms. This is, I forgot his name just a quick, Braylon, Ju duh, Braylon Jr.'s room. <laughs> and I tried to do something different, you know, got this little bedding here with the little stripes on the thing. He has a huge room all by himself. And here go the girls' rooms, Ty Ty Tyla. Tara, oh, all of them woke up like in a really focused mood. What? What happened for them to wake up in such a focused mood? Comforting light. Oh, they all woke up from their little night lights in a good mood. But anyway, here are the girls' rooms. I just tried to give them something a little bit different. I didn't go all out. I would have loved to go on all out and like decorate their rooms. Kind of like how I did uh, Janae's, but I was afraid with the money situation because we're down to $2,700. Um, I think I added this too. I can't remember because I did some of it last week after I finished recording. And then I did some of it today, uh, just finalizing everything. But anyway, we're going to get Ashley ready to um, start doing some gardening. So let's come over here and open the seed packet and then open this seed packet. I think I could do them back to back like that. Sometimes it won't. It won't. Okay, good. It worked. All right. So we're going to put the fruits. Hopefully she can reach this. I feel like it's going to end up being an issue. You never can tell with these sims. Anyway, we got apples too. So huh, let's do this. Let's put the apples like right here. Uh, I think that's far enough from each other. All right, cool. And then let's put, because I don't think they're going to grow well in here. And then let's go on and put the grapes in here. One here. Uh, let's do it across. And then we'll do the strawberries right here. And then we also got a plantain. Okay. I've never gotten a plantain for a starter vegetable pack. Um, man, I feel like it's going to be an issue. I don't want it to be in the kids' play way. <laughs> if that makes any sense. I don't want it to be in their way of playing. You know what I'm saying? Like I want them to be able to have space to run out here and play and stuff. And especially if I decide to pull the water slide out, because we still have that in our inventory. So let's plant that, plant that. Let's go on and get all this together and oh, plant that. Hopefully I didn't click eat. All right. And then hopefully I think if I click plant for one, don't purchase seeds. Please don't purchase seeds. I, that was a mistake. I think if I hit plant for all one, that all of them will 
grow, but I'm, I mean, all of them would get planted, but I'm not 100% sure. So anyway, the kids are inside eating right now. Are they at the, oh, they're all at the table. I love it. I got to get in here and get a picture. What is this? Really? Really, Ashley? She just made like a star and lump of clay. I got to get in here and get a picture. Oh my goodness. Look at their beautiful family, y'all. This is beautiful. Look, and Braylon is sitting at the head of the table like, yeah, I'm that dude. <laughs> my daddy sleep but i'm gonna sit at the head of the table because you know that's just what i do i should have had one of them set the table that would have been cute just to have it like a little bit more formal can i no i still can't do this all right we're gonna fast forward a bit fast forward a bit but all the kids should be okay yeah she is planning everything okay good don't put it up against the fence though ashley bring it back some girl seriously okay good i was getting nervous like please bring it back some hopefully she'll plant all of these like i said i don't We'll come over here and check on her in a minute. I'm going to check on the kids. Um, Janae, what's going on, girl? I think I need to figure out what Janae's... Oh, okay, she's going outside to play with the um, the thing. But the triplets are over here. Oh, my God. They grew up so cute, y'all. I'm just so impressed with them right now. <laughs> and little Braylon Jr. He has such good manners. Thank you, Braylon. I think I'm going to get Dad up right now and have him come over here and brighten his day a bit. Um, ask about his day. Ask him how he slept and everything. Oh, he's even cleaning up his sister's stuff. Oh, my ah, goodness. So, so. Let's encourage his recent behavior of doing the dishes. Thank you, little man. <laughs> I love it. And then, wait, was she even done? She's like, uh, Braylon Jr., you took my plate and I wasn't done. Anyway, I'm not going to lie, y'all. Okay, so I got this. I don't wear makeup. But I know you guys have probably been seeing online the Fenty Beauty craze. Everybody's been going crazy. And I was looking at her cheekbones and I was like, oh, my God, they look like Trophy Wife. The cheekbones looks like Trophy Wife. <laughs> Only a couple of y'all get that if, you, if you've been watching the videos and all that good stuff on it. Anyway, he's complimenting him on cleaning the dishes. I appreciate it, son. Now let's come over here and kiss. Uh, um, oh, Lord, I'm forgetting my kids' names. Skyla on the cheek, and then let's go kiss Tara on the oh, cheek and brighten her day a bit. Looks like always. they're all going outside. Or oh, oh no, gloss. Okay, baby girl, go Alana. use the bathroom then. Let's just saying good morning to all of the kids. Go use the restroom before you have to go to school, please. Thank you. She woke up really focused. She wants to read a book and she wants to do all of that. But dad, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? All right. So um, unwelcome present. I got a present that I think is dumb. I want to trade it. I want to trade it with a friend or give it back. Can I do that? I would totally say, who, which, which kid is this? Okay. Um, she's probably asking Ashley. Okay. That present was for you. So be grateful. I'm going to say that. Yeah. Empathy. That's fine. Cause you don't sit there and take, I mean, she didn't have to give you a present at all, darling. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Anyway, um, is it time for them to go to school? Almost. Uh, Braylon is in dire need of some fun. So I think I'm gonna have him go outside and jog for a little bit. He has to return a call later on regarding the bar situation. So we'll take care of that probably when he gets back in. So let's go water all of this stuff here. Hopefully she'll water all of these. Like I said, I don't, I've done the whole garden thing before, but I don't do it often. So some, sometimes I just, I don't, I don't know. Oh, we didn't even plant this. Oh, we can't plant it. I don't want to eat it. Maybe we need to move it some. Okay. Can we plant it? Okay. Plant. Okay. I was getting nervous. Like, no, I don't want to eat it. Ah. All right. Hopefully she'll water all of those and then we can get that together. And then when she is done, I'm going to have her come over here and start a book about, you know what? We can't start a book. She's still working on another book. But um, yeah, we definitely need to get her back in her writing. And her, she has got, <laughs> y'all, what is she having? Is she having multiples again? I feel like she is. Look at her. She's like gotten all plump and round. I love it, but I'm just nervous. We don't need more than one kid. I swear. Oh. And remember I said like a couple episodes ago, if that, oh, I can't, still can't plant this. We can't plant it. Or are you waving your hands about something uh, else? Yeah, are you waving Anna? your hands up in the air sometime saying, Hey, yo, gotta let go. <laughs> you want to celebrate and live your life and plant this plantain. Um, I don't want to sell this, but I'm gonna put it in our inventory for now. Cause I really don't want to sell it. Hopefully if she can plant it over here. I don't see why that'd be an issue though. All right, plant. Hopefully that'll work. Will that work? Or is she still ah. watering? What are you questioning me for? Just do what you got. Okay, these are all water. Okay, maybe that's what she's saying because these all look water to me. So just plant this one, which means we probably, okay, we still can't plant that one or is she just waving her hands up in the air sometime? <laughs> Audrina, oh, Audrina just sent her baby bro. Why just the one though? 
Wait, so Tara's not going to school or is she going to school now? Okay, she's going. Okay, I'm going to say, what in the world? All right, she has to use the bathroom, but hurry up and water that and then go potty. And um, then I'm going to have her go work on her book. In the meanwhile, <sighs> Braylon, I was going to let you come over here. Oh, I thought I wanted him to go jogging. Did I not just cue him up to go jogging? Go jogging, dude. Go get you some, go get your jog on real quick. And then I'm going to have him come in here and probably just watch a little. Oh, he can work out. That's right. I forgot about that. Um, let's have him watch the sports because he knows he we know he likes his sports. He gets excited about his sports stuff. So she's gonna go use the bathroom and then come over here. And we need to actually finish the other book. I was about to say she's gonna start writing her book, but let's finish writing that book because I feel like we've been working on that book the entire dog on series. And then um, we can start writing our book on planting a garden and all that good stuff. I want her to be able to have. Where did she go? Did she? Why did she come all the way in this bathroom? Girl, that made absolutely no sense. You came in through this door. You could have came around here and went there. But, you know, I, I, these sims. Oh, goodness. He just does not want to go for a jog. He said, I want to play with the sandcastle. Um, all right. So let's just watch this. Let's watch comedy for a little bit. And then um, we'll go and do some sports. And then he's going to go on and get on his call. And, oh, Audrina's just giving, she's blowing everybody up. What's up, Chuck? Skyla got sick and threw up in the hallway in front of a bunch of students. She's with the nurse now. Um, Braylon will probably just say, make sure she doesn't get teased. I feel like she, he would do that. I feel like Ashley'd be the one that'd be like, you know, check, check her health. But I feel like he would be like, just make sure she doesn't get che uh, teased, please. Um, just, you know, check on her that for that reason. I, I see him being more like that. But anyway, he's going to sit in here and watch TV while Mama Bear is over here finishing up this book hopefully hopefully she finishes it this episode so we can work on something else think about oh she was thinking about a family member that's right because she's probably thinking like we need to be able to pay for all these kids you know i never would have thought when she quit the dine out when she quit her restaurant and she sold it that this would be her dog on life uh, but we're getting money from 317 we just got royalty report so i mean you know it's not it's not a whole heck of a lot but as, le as long as she continues writing we can get money from that. And I think that that'll be, you know, it'll be helpful. But, you know, Braylon, definitely. I know we got a couple comments. People were like, ah, about everything. So um, I think it'll be important for, we can keep a level head about the club. I know it's not the most desirable club for him to work into because of the temptations and stuff. But Braylon has always been an upstanding guy and there hasn't been any issues or anything like that. So you know, I don't think it's going to be a situation where we have to worry about that. I would uh, theoretically, though, like for him to work there. And then maybe after he gets his name out, he'll start moonlighting at some other spots. Maybe they'll be like, oh, you know, bartender Braylon on the ones and twos. No, not on the ones and twos, but <laughs> just, you know, he's behind the bar tonight. So then maybe people will come out and want to check him out because he's kind of a showman. You know, like he does like the tricks behind the bar and he's kind of entertaining. And you guys saw when he went there, the club was empty and then it got packed and you know everything was good to go so anyway he's talking to the bar owner right now because he definitely was like give me a call let's talk about the situation um i know virtual smile had recommended a mod and i did a review on that mod some time ago but i can't remember i thought i, I thought i remember it being that he needed to actually own the bar he's feeling super confident so i thought he needed to like own the bar in order to um be able to profit from it so i don't know if that'll be a situation where he'll actually get money from it without owning it so i need to do some research on it but i'm actually <laughs> contemplating which i need to do that today <laughs> i'm contemplating um doing a um a mod a custom content creator showcase with miss sam because she has like a really like i got like a good collection of mods in my game from her right now at this point so i feel like she definitely needs like her own little custom content showcase so i'm thinking about doing that for tomorrow's episode and if i do i can just kind of play around with that mod and just figure out how we can use it to our benefit in the meanwhile i think i'll just give him like a flat fee like just hey if you come bartend for a couple hours you know we'll just give you 500 flat out you know no tips just 500 you know but of course he's going to need to work so i think that's what we're going to probably do tonight and see how it works and 500 isn't a whole heck of a lot but it can definitely help especially when he's off work for three dog on days well two days now because 500 for three days that's 1500 simoleons that's not bad and i think it's doable because i used to work in cocktail waitressing and on good nights especially when you could get those people that have had a little too much to drink i've got slipped a couple hundred dollars before for tips <laughs> like no lie 
Anyway, so he's just telling Ashley right now the news, like he's going to be doing a couple, picking up a couple shifts back and forth. And if it doesn't work out, then, you know, he'll look for something else. But in the meanwhile, you know, while he's off work, he's definitely going to take advantage of that. So she's she's on board with it. She's just kind of like she knows how important it is for him to be able to provide for his family. And she knows how much he enjoys bartending and just being kind of like. Um, a provider for his family and doing bartending at the same time is definitely a double, you know, like a double, not whammy per se, but definitely a double, a double hitter, <laughs> you know, like he could do both. He could go bartend, which is something that he really enjoys. And he could also, um, you know, uh, provide for his family, which is very important for him. So anyway, so they're just talking it over right now. And she's oh, she's her little back is hurting, but hopefully she'll get, she's thinking about going to the bathroom. Girl, get it together. I thought she ate already. Did she not eat already? Hopefully she'll finish this book today. And then that could be another book that we could publish. In the meanwhile, Janae is doing really good at school. So I'm gonna let her make friends for a little bit. The other ones, I'm going to have them do a couple study hard so they can kind of catch up with sister. And um, Braylon is just over here eating some breakfast. Um, so I'm going to have him, let's see, I think what I'm going to do is have him come over here. We already did, okay, we already did our mixed drinks. Okay, well, I guess we'll just sit and chill for a little bit until it's time for him to go to work. But I want to make sure, well, not work, go to go do his moonlighting thing. But I want to make sure we keep his needs definitely up and running. I think, too, y'all, I think I want to give him, like, a slight little makeover or something that he could use, I guess, to, um, let's plan outfit. I think we could do it like that. Something that he could wear when he goes to the bar because we don't want him to be, like, in civilian clothes. We want him to be in actual clothes, clothes, <laughs> like duh that made no sense i want him to be in like huh. an, an outfit like a um like a uniform type thing so we'll go in cast in a second mm -hmm. and go check out what we can give him and I, it's been so long since i gave him a makeover this is gonna be like so funny to see him in cast even though i see him in cast when i go in there all the time but you know anyway and we'll just have to figure out a time where we can have him go to the bar that's kind of reasonable because i'm thinking like if he kind of gets there for like the happy hour crowd we could probably say like from 6 to 11 and that'll be like five hours and then he could still come home at a decent time but most clubs don't close until like two o'clock in the morning so part of me wants him to work that late but then i feel like he's going to be so tired so um but anyway let's go and see what we can give him real quick Okay, guys, I got Braylon's outfit all together. You will see it when he goes to the spot. But for some reason, Ashley decided she was hungry and she was going to get herself a piece of cake. Wasn't the healthiest thing to do, but, you know, she's pregnant. So I'm going to let her do her thing because, I mean, you know, she's pregnant. Oh, no. Are you going to fix it for us, Braylon? Oh, is he going to fix it? I feel like he went over there to go fix Oh, he is. He's like, babe, I got it. Oh, I didn't even have to tell him to do it. I love it. So he's over here fixing the computer for her because he knew she was at... Wait, why is she at work right now? She's over here. Okay, that's really weird. That's really strange. Like, where does she go? Wait, y'all, seriously, where does she go? Wait. <laughs> Girl, what is she doing with yourself? Why is she out here? Oh, my gosh. What in the world? Okay, I have no idea what's going on. Anyway, do we need to pay? Oh, let's get mail real quick. Um, Y'all, she's all of a sudden just gotten really super big. I have no idea what's going on. What did we get? What did we get in the mail? Um, Okay, I guess we'll have to see when she technically gets home, even though she's home. But I'm going to have her actually come over here and do some um, clean out spoiled food. And then let's open and get something real to eat. Like, I feel like she didn't get anything real to eat. Or we could finish eating the cake, but um, we should have something else in here that we could eat, right? Okay, why can't I open it? Because is it dirty? Is that the reason why? Y'all, she got big all of the sudden. Like, what in the world? What is, what is she in? She's not even in her third trimester yet. What is that? Why is she so big? Y'all, oh my gosh. Why do I feel like we're going to have multiples again? Whatever. I, I'm done with you, Ashley. I Like, for real, you got to go to the, you gotta go to the doctor and get something. Get your tubes tied. Get something taken care of. I mean, just something. We can't, we can't do this anymore. So she can come use this computer. I don't know why every time I tell her to go right, she come uses this computer. But Braylon finished repairing it already. Um, should Janae? Sure. Oh, Tara's invited Dan Dante Jr. over. Of course we want Dante Jr. Where is he at? Oh my goodness. We haven't seen Dante Jr. in forever. Where is he? Dude, seriously? 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 Are you trying to push up on what's her face? Where's, oh, there's Dante Jr. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I think the boys should go do something together. Oh, uh, he's like automatically wanting to go talk to his dad. I'm going to let him come over here and um, 
Let's do, let's do, what can we do? Let's discuss interest a bit. Play make believe. Let's do that. And then Janae, why is Janae looking at this girl? Like, why is she walking in front of my house like that? Um, and then let's let Janae, oh, she got a school project. Oh no, that's from the other day. Okay. So I'm gonna have a breeze through homework and I'm gonna have the girls do their homework. I don't know who invited Dante Jr., but I think it was one of the girls, but I'm gonna have them come do their homework anyway. And then the boys can kind of play with each other and just kind of hang out. Look at their little stars on their faces. I love it. Anyway, so, okay. He, oh my goodness. Is he over here playing with her? Like, what are you doing? Bray Braylon's like, this right here. Okay, so brighten her day a bit. Let's ask her about her day. How was your first day of school? No, I don't give a talking to. I don't know why I always make a mistake and do that. Um, make funny faces a bit. Um, and then we'll just do that. The kids are over here doing their homework. So Ashley is over there. What is she doing now? Resume playful book. Wait, I had her writing. Now it's a playful book. Was it always a playful book? I don't remember if it was a playful book or not, y'all. Hopefully she'll get it done though. Cause my gosh, I'm like ready for it to be over and done. Um, and then let's come over here and we can help, uh, help Janae with homework. And then can we help Tara too? Help with homework. And then, oh, okay. We like straight took our daughter's chair where she's sitting. <laughs> and then we can do the same thing and help her, help Skyla with her homework as well. So let's, he's going to help all the girls with their homework before they have to go, before he has to go. And Dante and, oh my goodness, Braylon Jr. Go take you a shower, little man. What in the world? Let me have him go take a quick little shower. Um, no, not I said shower. He's like, I'm going to go get in the big people tub. Go take you a shower real quick. Take a brisk shower. There you go. He's going to take a brisk, sh brisk shower. Brisk, brisk shower. And then I think him and Dante Jr. are going to come over here and play dolls. Uh, Dante Jr. There we go. All right. So, yeah. Cool. Love it. Oh, what's this? Oh, Atticus. So somebody invited Atticus over. Okay. I don't know who invited who over, so I'm just going to come over here and tease about face. Oh, we're not going to tease about her face. Um, we can ask about her day. Let's do some stuff like that. Oh, I love that they're having friends and stuff over. Y'all, Dante kills me with this little walk. Why is he always walking like that? Remember when he spent the night with us? <laughs> he was like going through the house like that. That was hilarious to me because I was just like, Dante Jr., if you don't get your butt in the bed, he just would not go to sleep. Anyway, I'm going to have her do a funny introduction. She's like, Dad, I'm done with my homework. Like, you're late. <laughs> you're late, Dad. But anyway, the girls can just talk together. Tell an unbelievable story. Um, let's have them uh, discuss interests. Uh, Janae would totally brag about her grades, but I think she would do it in a fun way where it wouldn't be like all serious. Um, all right, cool. And then uh, where are you going, Tara? Oh, you're going outside. Did you finish your homework? I'm assuming she finished her homework. All right, let's check on Ashley real quick. Are you done, Ashley? Because for some reason it says you're at work even though you're sitting right here in my face. But that apparently is a glitch, I'm sure. I have that unemployed, um, self-employed mod in my game, so I wouldn't be surprised if that's what's going on because I think the self-employed mod... Yeah, she worked well. It says she works from two to three on, well, I don't even know what day. Anyway, it doesn't even matter at this point. So as long as she's in here working, she's self-employed at this point. But um, oh, Braylon Jr. I mean Braylon Senior got to go get himself together. So let me see what he needs to do in order to get ready because I think I am going to have him go in at about six o'clock. So I want to be a ninja when I grow up. What do I need to do and how to start getting ready? Okay, who is she asking? I think she's asking Braylon. So I'm going to say get a ninja outfit because I just feel like that's what he would say. He's totally like, y'all follow your dreams. Just do whatever. You know, get yourself a ninja outfit. I'm good. You know, I feel like that's what he would do. Uh, all right. So let's have him come over here real quick and take a quick shower. Uh, we're going to use the bathroom and uh, get ready to go because he's going to show up at the purple rain for six o'clock. So I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, we are at Purple Rain, and the club is just now getting packed and filing in. This is going to be Braylon's little spot right here, so we're going to come over here and tend the bar. And I decided just to go on and let him come at closer to 7 o'clock, which I know it's like 7.12 right now, because um, that'll be more realistic, I think, as far as staying for five hours. So he can be from here from 7 to 12, and then it'll get like the little crowded whatever area that you want to call it or what have you, so... <laughs> This picture, oh my gosh, the fact that he's like on this picture right now, but I gave him just like a little suave type outfit, just like a, like a tie with a vest and I wanted to do like the purple vibe so he can kind of like blend in with the atmosphere. So right now there's not hardly anybody here, but we're just going to kind of wait and see. Oh, Jay Rosen and aged up. Oh my goodness, girl, but she's still out here partying and getting it on. Uh-huh. Oh my goodness. She looks, 
<laughs> you know, I'm not trying to age shame because, you know, I think some elderly women are beautiful. Don't get me wrong. But, oh, my goodness, she needs to make over so badly. It's oh, what is Audrina doing here? Audrina was like, let me see what's up. Let me see what's up. She's like keeping an eye on Braylon. I want to say hi to her, but I'm going to let her just do her thing. So, you know, oh, my goodness, Pancake Lady is pregnant. Is she pregnant by Bob, though? I feel like we're going to be sitting here, like, looking at um, Sims and kind of people watching. Okay, she's pregnant by Bob. Okay, as long as you're with Bob, because <laughs> I see you gallivanting around town with other people. So, we're tending the bar right now. And, like I said, I think, oh, look at, wait, is Ginger pregnant, too? Y'all, did I know that? I think I knew that already. Pregnancy. Yeah, I would know. Okay, that's right. I knew that already because I saw that she had moved on and left Santino. Even though we still didn't get the deets as to why her and Santino aren't together anymore. But that's cool. She's pregnant just like, um, just like, uh, what you call it is. But anyway, are we tending the bar? Hi, Audrina. What's going on, girl? Let's do a deep conversation. Be like, how's school going and everything? I'm still tending the bar, though. Don't get it. Oh, she left. Okay, all right. I'm still to the bar. So we got Haley Holiday over here. She's like, can I get something to drink? Uh, uh, you better not serve the Eliza Pancakes lady. Why would she get something to drink? She's Y'all, I swear, I'm going to email, like, Miss Sam right now has it going on with mods. I think I'm going to email her and say, can you make a mod where pregnant sims do not order drinks? Because that's not cool. I, I don't agree with that. And Braylon, I would think he would probably not hire. He probably wouldn't give her a drink. Look at him. Wait, I got to get a picture of this, y'all. Y'all know I got to get a picture of this. Because he is a showman. Look at him. Unfortunately, I'm going to have that other picture in the background. But look at him. <laughs> He looks like he is so excited. I'm so happy for him. But um, yeah, this spot is a little bit suspect. You know, it's definitely got the ladies here. And we got Olivia, uh, Haley, and Eliza, and Kaleem here. And then look at all these sims that's aged up, though. I wish that when they aged up that the game would automatically give them, like, a makeover. Uh, oh, my goodness. Who Really, girl? You drinking a wrench? Oh, my. Wait, so we giving wrenches to everybody. All right, so... How you did all that that quick? Quacks and I. I'm impressed. Yeah, he shook up. He shook one little shaker and had four different drinks from that one little shaker. But anyway, we've served four guests so far. And now Miss Jade. Oh, Jade Yamaguchi. I was about to call her Jade Rosa. She is no longer Jade Rosa. She is Jade Yamaguchi. But um, this is nice, though. We got people. Nobody's dancing or anything, but at least the club is packed. Let me go upstairs and see what's going on. So we got this bartender up here. She's working the VIP lounge. And I guess... Audrina was like, I don't want my stepdad to see me drinking, so I'm going to go upstairs. <laughs> I'm thinking that's what she's thinking at this point. But that's so funny. She came upstairs to get herself something to drink, but she got a wrench, too. All of them are getting wrenches. What's up with that? And Dominic, you're going to get you something to drink, too, even though I'm trying to imagine how that's supposed to work. How is that supposed to work? Wait, who got a... Oh, I thought she got a second drink. I'm going to say, girl, you got a second... Look, he's like, I'm just going to go straight to the bar and go get this drink. Y'all, seriously, how are the ghosts supposed to drink? I'm just curious. Like, is it going to go straight through? Okay, I was, like, half expecting it to, like, go through his body and you could, like, see it or whatever. But it didn't work out like that. But anyway, so we're still down here sitting to the bar. And people are enjoying themselves. Hallie, Hallie, Haley, Hallie, Haley, whatever you want to call her. She's going in for a second. Oh, I do want to tell you guys, while he was taking a shower and everything, I did have um, Ashley go on and finish that book. So she did publish it. We actually got the option to self-publish or sell to a publisher. So we did the sell to a publisher. Hopefully we could get more um, more royalties that way. And then she'll probably start on next episode working on her book about her own garden. And, you know, cooking from your garden. You know, something to that nature. I think that'll be really cool. You better not get no drink. Ginger, you better not. Okay, good. It's like I gotta watch her. So basically what we're gonna do is just sit here for a couple hours, uh, some hours that is, and just kind of let him get his little money situation. I think 500 is doable. If you guys think that that's too much, let me know. But I mean, that's just 500 tending the bar and not getting any tips. So I wish that there was a way, y'all. I Googled and Googled and Googled. I even asked like a group of people like, hey, do you know of any mods where um, you could get tips or whatever? Okay, so it's really popping. Look at him. He's like, this is for you guys. Um, nobody really knew of any and like I said the only one was the one that was suggested in the comment box by virtual smile Which I'm definitely going to look into that one But hopefully by next episode I have like a more realistic option because I would love for them to order drinks and just whatever they pay for the drink It just goes in his pocket. Um, I would love that but Man, they definitely are enjoying themselves. Is this Santino? Y'all Santino I swear this is Santino. It is Santino <laughs> 
So if you guys watch Dine Out, Santino was with Ginger at one point. As a matter of fact, Ginger was the one that convinced Ashley to hire Santino because he was unemployed. And at the time, I thought they were engaged to get married and they do have a child together. So I don't know at what point she decided to move on and move on with Noel Lee, but I could have swore they weren't getting Wait, why is he like So he's like, I'm just going to come up in this spot with no pants and maybe we can go to this. I don't know. And then this lady came with a coffee because she's like, I'm trying to party all night long. I mean, let's see. I'm trying to see if Ginger. And then Ginger's like, I'm going to come over here and throw it in his face like I am pregnant by another man. Yeah, I think something went down. Like, the only thing I can think of is Ginger was definitely like, Santino, get a job. Oh, she's sick. Okay. She probably was like, get a job or move out. And like I said, he was working with Ashley and then Ashley sold the restaurant. So that might be the reason why she got rid of him. He probably could go get another job after, after Breakfast Hub was closed. But oh, I feel bad for him. Look, he's like, I'm going to go over here and party. Drink my sorrows away. Oh, we need to catch up with Santino because him and Braylon were good friends. So we probably should do that on another episode. Well, we have some time, but it's 11 10. These little hours have definitely flown by. I'm trying to see where Audrina's at. Okay, Audrina, this is like the the, the champagne room. You better be careful up in here, girl. <laughs> this is definitely the champagne room. Y'all, she is definitely like trying to get her party on. I'm impressed. I like her over here, though. That's funny. Um, so, uh, let's see what else is going on. We're just gonna kind of hang out until 12 o'clock. Um, this, the club is definitely popping though, and I think that the supervisor, the guy, is going to be pleasantly surprised at the amount of people. But look, we get like a ton of drinks. Oh, Khabib. But not Khabib. What's his name, y'all? Kabir. <laughs> I swear when I saw that R, I thought it was a B. I know the bar is junky, so we're going to have to clean it in a little bit. I know it's stinks. He's such a, 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 what you call it, he's like a very neat freak, so he's going to clean the bar really quickly. And then hopefully we'll get this all cleaned up and then we can continue tending to the bar. I would love to see if Audrina comes down here and flirts with Kabir because that will be interesting. But if you guys are watching the uh, the uh, university life with her, she and Zayn right now are kind of like, and I don't, I don't, I don't want to call them an item per se, but they definitely are like getting to know each other. And he really likes her. I don't know how she feels about him yet, but I can tell he really likes her. So um, I think it's sweet. But, um, <laughs> look, all these people are I love it. Look at him. He's gonna look, he's so confident. So he's got a talented tender, and then he has bumping beats, so he's enjoying the 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 music and everything. So this is like definitely his speech. Ginger, I'm not say it but see Ginger knows better. She's like, I'm not gonna get nothing to drink. Eliza on the other hand. I don't know where she's at right now, but yeah. I'm not happy with you, Eliza. Not by no means whatsoever. But I'm trying to see if Kabir... Okay, I want to see if naturally... Okay, no, they just walk straight past each other. <laughs> but I would definitely be interested if we saw some of the other roommates and stuff here. But, oh, he totally is in a certain type of mood, though. Let's see. I'm trying to check him out and see what he's going to do. I got I to gotta check him out, y'all. I do. I am going to have some crossover episodes. I think that's going to be fun. Like, if her, if Zane and Audrina end up hooking up and getting together, per se, she might want to invite him back to meet the family so to speak and um so y'all we're still going i'm gonna let him continue working this shift until it's like crazy over right now i don't really see any reason to leave so i guess we'll get an extra couple dollars for staying extra so let's just say for right now hundred dollars an hour he's been here since seven and yeah we're about to be at one o'clock so and he's he's doing good like he's enjoying himself so i guess i'll just let him finish maybe these last couple customers and then we'll just go on and leave and go home and put the money in the account like i said it'll end up adding up eventually so she's talking to who are you talking to right now, girl olivia spencer kimberly i was kind of hoping she was gonna just like naturally go talk to the beer but you know i'm surprised she's is she drunk oh yeah she's drunk too y'all look at her oh yeah oh yeah that's why she didn't want to drink with braylon because she was just like i'm trying to get my drink on <laughs> i'm trying to get my drink because you know she just had class and everything when you think about it too because right now the days are the same because they just had thursday so next episode would be friday for her which i'm kind of looking wait what is going on people are getting oh because someone peed on the dog on floor well that's not my job I, I'm, I'm i'm just the bartender i'll in the bar and I'll clean the bar and I'll do all that. Y'all, look how many people are here. This is insane. I feel like I need to get a picture of this. Like, I just, I'm, I'm impressed because A, when we first got here, there was nobody here. And then all of a sudden, it's like everybody's up here at this bar. Like, look at this. Like, Braylon Ennis is in his doggone element. Y'all can't tell me he's not. Look at this. 
he is in his element. And the thing is, you go upstairs and your girl upstairs, I mean, she is pretty much, I mean, now we'll say this, there's no DJ up here. So the atmosphere is a little bit different. I think everybody would rather stay down here where the DJ is bumping. But I mean, this is a pretty crowded packed bar to say that um, nobody's upstairs, but I'm going to have to shut him down at two o'clock. Because I think at that point, it's just way too late for him to be out. Especially because he left at 7. Um, so, I'm going to let him finish this up real quick. we got 20 more minutes and I'm going to go on and go. Jen, you better not get nothing to drink, girl. Hopefully, she's just sitting there. I think she's just sitting there. Oh, maybe not. Okay, now she's playing musical chairs. I have no idea what she's doing. But yeah, y'all, this is crazy. Alright, so it's about to be 2 o'clock and thankfully he's hungry. So, it's getting to the point where he's going to be wrapping it up. And he's feeling a little bit grossed out and tired at the same time. But in the long run, I think he did fairly good. So, let's just go in and stop it right here. Alright, cool. He finished his shift. He ended up doing, what was that? Five, six, seven hours, y'all. So, $700 is not bad. Alright, so let me go on and get him home. Uh -huh. Alright guys, he is at home and yeah, it is fairly late. It is now 2.42. I guess it took him a little bit to get down the street. I have no idea why, but I'm going to have him come in and get himself something to eat. We're going to go on and go in and say money and it's 30, oops, 36.13 and that adds the, oh wait y'all, did I do it right? I did it wrong. Did I do it right? 36, 30? Okay, so it's supposed to be 36, 13 is the total that he's supposed to get. Um, I have no idea what that other dollar amount was. Did something else come through that I missed? Oh, Ashley was doing... Um, all right. Oh, that was me taking pictures. Okay. Why is Janae still up? Why are the kids still up? Oh, my goodness. They all were like, we wanted daddy to come home. Okay, so let's get her in the bed. Let's get everybody to sleep. Uh, which one is her? I think this is her bed. So sleep... And you sleep because all these kids got to go to sleep. That's the only be, that's going to be the only problem with him coming in late is that they're just all up and at him. And poor Ashley is just um, she's she looks like she's just super tired. Like she's just ready to be like, oh, you are finally here to relieve me. So oh, she set the table. I love it. Um, I had had her set the table before they went to bed. But anyway, he's going to get himself. No, get you something to eat, sweetheart. Get you something to eat. Go eat the chicken stir fry your wife made. And Ashley, when you're finished doing all that, go put that away. And go put that away. And then, yeah. And then come over here and talk with Braylon and ask him how it went. Let's profess his undying love. Definitely um, discuss some fine cuisine a bit. Uh <laughs> This guy, I'm just going to cue her up to just have like different conversations with him because um, I kind of want her to just say, hey, how did it go? Your first little night? Do you like it? Was it fun? You know, it's something that you want to continue to do and definitely going to have him sit there and talk about it a little oh, bit because I think that's you. important for them to keep an open communication about it and just kind of like talk about it. And see how everything went. So I'm going to have him. Tell her about it, everything. Um, compliment her health. I'm just going to queue up to say something. I don't think it seems like you're talking about it. I wish that there was like specific questions we could talk about, but of course there's not. But I wish that there was to a degree. I think that would be really cool if we could just say, hey, discuss shift at the bar. But that's not going to like that. But anyway, so I'm going to go on and get ready to wrap this episode up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, I did fix the garden. I was able to move that plant back over here. And then all everything's flourishing. And it's just going really good. Another thing I'd like to do too, and I don't know how realistic it is, but I saw online some time ago that when the flea market comes in town, you can sell like produce and stuff like that. If it gets an opportunity that the flea market comes and we might want to go and sell some of the fruit and stuff that we get from our garden, that might be another way we can make extra cash. At this point, it's just going to be a matter of us just trying to figure out a way to um, just make it, you know, in a reasonable way without just sitting there like going crazy or what have you. And Ashley definitely needs what to be at home at this point we have too job? many kids mm. for her to be working you know but anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know what you think down in the comment box down below and i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching bye